this is by far the best my skater xl has ever felt you know just graphics wise stats wise clothes wise i finally got um essentially everything just feeling right it's, it wasn't me it was it was I, I had some help we have the uh the hoodlum pin dropper here which honestly i didn't even know you could customize that so that that's cool to begin with let's get a kickflip hurricane tricks i don't normally do oh that was almost it there it is ah uh, i want to clean it up there it is beautiful and <laughs> and we died i hopped on a legitimately three hour long discord call with the homie mike crook who you may oh we barely cleared that i don't actually know if we cleared that <laughs> no we uh we didn't clear that mike's a big name in the skater xl modding community ex pro skater himself rides for for hoodlum and fake skating oh wow long story short he hopped on this discord call and helped me get my mods getting get, getting my game to look like this essentially i don't even know if i if i talked about it publicly i talked about it on stream briefly that um my computer blue screened and when it blue screened it literally factory reset everything so like i had my oops i had my mods installed still but everything was back to vanilla so even though i had xxl mod none of my stats were saved none of my presets were saved which sucks because i spent like hour literally hours playing slider simulator and xxl mod and and getting my game to look and feel good and then it just obliterates itself so like if you look through my videos for the past couple months they <laughs> the, the, the skating in skater xl doesn't doesn't look good i hopped on a discord call with mike and he literally walked me through step by step getting the proper version of every single mod like starting from scratch a fresh install of skater xl getting xl gear modifier so i can have these baggy clothes getting my stats to actually feel good getting my gameplay to feel right i mean that, that's why i love modded skater xl because you can turn it into a, a whole different game see just look at that look at that pinch nothing uh <laughs> nothing quite like it so i mean even just uh even looking at my dude's fit here we have that's that's not normal skater xl you know we got the uh the baggy hoodie this is all xl gear modifier stuff we have the baggy pants that look perfect like i, I like he just looks he looks good for once you know what i mean we have these amazing shoes that were made by the homie magic who actually started hoodlum i think 14 years ago hey if someone could fact check me that'd be great magic runs the uh the bootleg boys discord with red goof and evil and they make like the most detailed most insane most realistic shoe meshes for skater xl so these are my custom my custom nike blazers and they look literally flawless i obviously got the uh boned ollie mod installed so we have a little bit of steez with our flat ground tricks and just like i i it's finally fully customized i'm finally using modded pc skater xl to its full potential instead of essentially just running vanilla on pc you know boned ollie mod is the the biggest one actually this is a newer mod that, that was completely new to me and if i i still have to do like switch and fakie and all that stuff but that's essentially, you know, um, self-explanatory here. Let's go to some stairs. We're going to do two ollies really quick. We're going to ollie Wallenberg how it would normally look. Okay. Have a seat. It doesn't look bad. You know what I mean? But that, it, it, it looks like a little vanilla skater XL ollie. And then we toss a little boner in here. Oh! That was sick. It's one of those things that, that Session has had and Skater XL should have, and there's finally a mod for it. You just... It, 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 exactly what it sounds like. You can bone out your ollies. You can bone out anything. Even my kickflips, I have it set so it pushes them forward. You know, you actually get that dip, catch it with the back foot all crazy, and bring it down. I can still go through and fine-tune my settings a little bit, but... It looks a, a hell of a lot better than normal. Even low pop kick flips, depending on, you know, where you flick it with your finger. You can rocket flip, you can bone it, you can essentially do everything. Great mod. First time using it. We also have reshade. Again, this is all courtesy of Mike helping me get this all set up and everything. This is Skater XL with default colors. This is Skater XL with all the uh, reshade settings that Mike helped me set up. It, it looks it looks really, really good. This one's kind of obvious, but he helped me go through my stats and I still have some fine tuning to do here and there, but it actually looks um, good. <laughs> so 
there's that i remember watching hoodlum videos before i ever played skater xl because they did um fake skate stuff with the ea skate series then before there was ever really skater xl modding i was watching hoodlum videos on skater xl just the you know the the realistic skate edits that they were doing before before anyone else really um so to be able to have this help and kind of be a part of this community is really really fucking cool to me so shout out hoodlum shout out mike shout out everyone that's helped me get my game feeling right finally i'm gonna have links to everything helpful in the description you know the hoodlum discord mike social media um anything and everything <laughs> to, to get me to where i am i'll have it in the uh, in the description down below now i want to show you guys something this is my first clip with the the bone ollie mod it was super simple it's literally just a uh 50 50 fully extended and then get on thought that was a cool clip this one i just thought was cool <laughs> i mean nothing was really cool about it besides the line the first trick the like what nolly alley-oop 270 fail kind of getting familiar with the the new lenses and, and filming and everything but stoked on this line too this is another one i was stoked on i think for me it's just really refreshing to it was always frustrating having gone from you know comfortable feeling realistic skater xl settings to having my computer reset itself and everything felt terrible so to be able to make clips like this and have it feel good and look good is a uh, it's a really good feeling fun little quick foot line what's this one? Oh, this one's sick oh we got the combos that's i, I it's funny because on this one i wasn't trying to go to front feeble i was trying to go to to front board but it it worked is that it i feel like there's one more oh i think this is the the last one i got tiny little switch bone dolly over the pool that was my least favorite clip i just thought i'd throw it in there i've always talked about how modded skater xl on pc is as good as you make it for example you're you're someone like milky that has these amazing stats that has the game dialed to a t and he's just talented like his gameplay looks phenomenal and then you have you know my older skater xl content where i have the same mods installed and everything but it's just <clears throat> not the same so to be able to kind of unlock the full potential and kind of be taught <laughs> how to use these mods and how to make the game look good um it's a really cool feeling it, it's refreshing it brings the life back to uh skater xl for me so enough enough rambling you guys have seen what it's possible what's capable let's uh let's get some clips i want to see if we can redeem ourselves on this crazy water ledge we briefly skated it when i was exploring this map for the first time oh i don't even know if we can make it up that see you can bone ollie up stuff but it doesn't always look good maybe in a replay Oh man, I just want to see how that, uh, I want to see how that bone dolly looks on camera. It's like, it's a little glitchy because we, we, we reached the top of it at the peak of our animation. I think it looks fine though. I think if I release the, the bone dolly input right when I reach the top, it gets rid of that little glitch. I think that was it. Yeah, Ollie up looked good. And that looked good. I don't quite, I don't quite know how to film this. Seven hours later. Here's what we got with some quick keyframes. I mean, just the, the whole, the whole thing just looks better. You know, even just the outfit my skater's wearing, pop height, the camera lens. It's like the littlest stuff that finally feels right. Ooh, we can really put ourselves to the test here. Let's start out just 50 50 because you guys know I suck at 50 50s. So I, I want to start by just doing 50 50. Perfect. Because then I want to go from 50 50, pop over the little nipple back to 50 50. Oh, almost first try. I need to get a custom controller overlay again. If anyone would love to do the honors of making me a new overlay, that would be amazing because I, I hate this uh, this default one. I'm just going to turn it on so you can see how fast I have to do these inputs. So boom, boom. Oh! Wow. 
That was sick. Dude, I wonder if I, I could have gone to the third one too. Hold on, I want to go through and uh and film this clip because that's actually sick. Ready for this? Boom, boom, dude. Hold on, I want to add slow mo. I want to mess around more with that uh the boned ollie mod. You can you can bone it while you're doing 180s too, so you can get these crazy like let's see. Yeah, those look cool. What about a crazy bone dolly north? Can I just can I just not land them? Oh, I gotta put my foot back on sooner or else that happens. Oh, do I have to? I think I have to actually catch it. What happened to my skateboard? All right, we got this. Yeah, you have to you have to actually catch it with your front foot. So you have to tap the stick to to lift the foot off. So tap the stick there. And then tap it again to catch it. Wow. These curved ledges can be really fun if I can uh, actually skate them right. Yeah. Where are we taking this line? Can we make it up here? Nope. <laughs> Oops. I'm going to pre-wind a little bit onto that. Try to get some added realism. Nollie flip on flat. Crazy bone nollie flip. Oh, okay. Just a board slide, baby. Yep. And now... Oh, so close to the kickflip back nose blunt. See, like, it, it, you can start experimenting with boning your tricks into a grind. I'm actually curious. I don't know if I've done that before. I don't know if I, if I activated the boner in time. No, that was, that was just a regular back nose blunt. Oh, wow. That landing sucked, but. Okay, yeah, maybe maybe I don't like how that looks, but you can do it. Maybe a mellower, like, boned kickflip back nose blunt could look sick. Ooh. There it is. I boned the kickflip in. It, it, it's super subtle. Like I have my kickflip settings to where it bones it. So see, I'm catching it fully back foot and it, it's dipping. It's just not crazy over exaggerated. Uh, I could clean that up, but I mean, I just wanted to see if it was, see if it was possible. And it is. I feel like this opens up such a, a, <laughs> a big new world for me in Skater XL. Smiths are still hard for me. Maybe? Yeah! That was sick! Smith kickflip out. Oh, what the hell? There it is. Like I said, there's still, um a lot to work on but i mean the the biggest thing that those switch bone dollies are so sick the biggest thing that mike helped me with was to familiarize or familiarize myself with what to do before half of these xxl mod settings i didn't even know what they did Ugh. oh we also fixed my manuals kind of remember how i couldn't manual before watch this ugly but we did it Yes. You're not going fast enough, are you? No, you're not. As corny as this sounds, um, and I've said it a couple times already, but it kind of did bring new life. I want to clear that. It brought new life to Skater XL for me. Because, I mean, regardless of how many mods you have installed, whether you're on console vanilla or you have all the mods in the world, I still get burnt out on the game personally. You know what I mean? That's just how I, how I am as a person. Um, but to have my game feeling like this and feeling a sense like a new game... Um, it feels really, really, really good. So Mike, Hoodlum, thank you. The whole entire Skater XL community. Um, you guys are single-handedly keeping this game alive. Which brings me to our next video, which is going up either tomorrow or in a couple days. Is the Skater XL killer out there? Ba, ba, ba. That was to add um, dramatic effect. But yeah, there's a, there's a game out there that has some potential that I think some other YouTubers have talked about. 
We're going to get into it next video.